Welcome back to the News at 5. You know, for many people, exercising is a way to relieve stress. But right now, the thought of working out in a public place may be the source of stress. KETV News Watch 7's Molly Bernard reports on what local fitness centers are doing to keep you healthy during a workout. Gyms in Nebraska are slowly starting to reopen. Others across the area are slowly loosening their restrictions. Now we've gone from 10 people in the entire building to being allowed to have 10 people per room. John Basscamp is the CEO of Blue Moon Fitness. The business never closed down, but there are changes for members. Wiping down equipment before and after they use it and uh, sanitizing their hands. Even taking their members' temperature before a workout. In the cardio room, every other machine is off limits and workouts need to wrap up in half an hour. They limited the people so well that um, I was never next to anybody. Um, I never felt, I always saw people cleaning. I never felt that it was a health issue at all. Jay Dahlgaard says working out is good for his physical and mental health, and the staff is trying to keep the gym a stress-free environment, sanitizing equipment often and using a sprayer like this daily. The people that are here are excited. The people are really happy to be back, and we're happy to have them back. Andrew Montgomery is the general manager of the athletic club in Midtown, which reopened Monday. Just like Blue Moon, staff are constantly cleaning and wearing masks. It's always been our policy to keep the facility clean and safe. So when this COVID pandemic came around, it was just a matter of ramping up the efforts. Signs remind members about CDC guidelines and machines are six feet apart. Employees have their temperatures taken before every shift. The gym should be the safest cleanest place that you can go to. So obviously we want to make sure we're not the cause of a spread. And if you want to get a workout in in Iowa, gyms are opening with looser restrictions tomorrow. In Omaha, Molly Bernard, KETV Newswatch 7.